surviving the quarantine nuggets from noah the first quarantined family nugget number 15 god's finger is in the details the mountains of arawat destination unknown genesis 8 verse 4 reads so the flood gradually receded until 150 days after it began the boat came to rest upon the mountains of arawat three months later as the waters continued to go down other mountain peaks appeared the finger of god refers to his personal attention to detail with respect to what we have to accomplish as we saw in nugget 13 as well as the timing of his actions in nugget number 14. our third trace will look at god's attention to detail with respect to where we need to go so for 40 days the roaring floods prevailed covering the ground and lifting the boat high above the earth until finally the water covered all the high mountains under the whole heaven standing 22 feet and more above the highest peaks based on the dimensions of the ark it was a sizable vessel if we recall the lord's instructions to noah in genesis 6 15 this three-story ship was to be 450 feet long 75 feet wide and 45 feet high we are not sure what kind of navigational tools noah had this account took place in 2348 bc and the first compass was invented in 20 bc how far from home did it sail where was this vessel going to dock there were no handlers to guide this vessel into a port of entry before planes take off a flight plan that provides the path and eventual destination of the plane has to be filed when we board a vehicle we are usually aware of the destination when we plan our vacations business trips we know exactly what our destination is noah had no idea where his final destination would be but he trusted God to take him where he needed to be. When the Lord told Abraham in Genesis 12, 1, to leave his native country, his relatives and his father's family, and go far away to another land that he promised to give him, Abraham obeyed. Away he went, not even knowing where he was going. He packed his possessions, took his family, and departed before he was aware of where the final destination was. He trusted that God would take him where he needed to be. After the underground waters stopped flowing and the torrential rains from the sky were stopped, the flood waters gradually receded from the earth. Now what? The Lord, in his wisdom, allowed the ark with its precious cargo to rest safely on a mountain range that would have the capacity to handle the weight and size of the vessel for the next 229 days. Noah had no control over the design of the ark, the duration of the journey, or the destination of the ark. He had no flight plan. He had no exit strategy what he had and so do we today is a relationship with a God who watches over all the plans and path of godly men Psalm 1 6 and knows every detail of what is happening to us Job 23 verse 10 God not the devil is God off and in the details God takes exquisite care of his children nothing is left to chance he says I am the Lord your God who leads you along the paths that you should follow the finger of God takes care of every detail in your life God bless you